Archivitech is MTSoft's answer to the eternal problems of document management in businesses. In this brief demonstration, we'll see clearly how we've resolved these problems. This is Archivitech, MTSoft's document management application. The first screen is significant. All users, when they start work, have to identify themselves with their password. This means that from the very first moment the program assigns the user a security level which will permit them to access some documents and not others. We're already starting to benefit from the security that a professional program like this is obliged to offer. Let's go to the second great feature of this program, ease of use. This is how simple the user interface is. These are the most important options, but the user can enter any one of them via the menu bar at the top, where he'll find almost all of the program's options. That's it. So what have we done in MTCSoft? Well, we weren't going to invent the wheel, were we? We've copied the interface of the Windows Explorer, which is familiar to users all over the world. Ours is a similar interface where we can expand folders or reduce them, just as in Windows, but with some additional advantage, such as these folders in gray. These are folders where the user does not have access. Again, we're gaining document security. And let's not forget, everything which we're seeing on the screen, absolutely everything, is included in the database. Therefore, you cannot access any document without using the program nor without identifying yourself with your password. Working with Archiva Tech is totally intuitive. A double click on a file opens it and gives me access to all its documents. At right, in a reduced view with little icons, I can see the scanned or electronic documents which have been dragged and dropped into the file. It's this simple to open a document, whether it's a PDF, a JPEG image, or any other file type, because the program permits you to save any file in your hard disk. Then, when you double click on it, the program either brings it up on the screen directly or opens it with the program which saved it. It could open an AutoCAD or a Word document, or even play a video or an MP3 file. All the application has to do is open it with the program which created the file. Here's an important button which all the files have. It's the permission or level of security of that document. We see here that with a simple mouse click we can choose different levels of read or write security because the program permits different levels of security for reading and writing. This makes it possible to distribute documents to a number of recipients while limiting the possibility to modify it to just the ones you select. We can see that simply by choosing the level of security, I can control who accesses each document. In fact, if I choose this private option, I can limit access to just members of a given department. For example, only the human resources staff has access to payroll information, nobody else. Playing with the access level of a document and its privacy status, I can control perfectly who has access to each one of the documents in my system. What's another important feature in document management? Searches. When I choose the search option, the window offers me various possibilities. I can search in the folders, the files, or even in the content of the documents because the program indexes all the content of all the documents in such a way that when I open a document, as you can see here in this PDF, it's already marking the words which I want to find. If I'm looking for a certain field in a file, no problem, they're all there. That is to say, all the information which is visible in this file, plus all the information which is inside the documents, is a search keyword for the program. And since it's a database, search results are instantaneous. I'm searching for Director General, CEO, 
which I know is in one of the documents. This one appears, for example. Here we see the same document as before, but now it's at the end of the list. That is to say, the program, without the user having to do anything, organizes all the information from all the documents. This is something you can't achieve without a database, that's for sure. Another interesting factor related to security is a list of operations that's only visible to the administrator. This list is generated automatically and inevitably. I say inevitably because nobody can block its generation. It will always indicate for me any modification in the database. This means that if a user comes into the office on a Sunday night and eliminates a salary and then substitutes it for another one, they leave a trail. We know which user it is, what time they did it, and what document they eliminated. To fulfill the terms of regulatory norms, or if it's a document with special security measures, this is a fundamental protection. It gives me an extra level which, just by being there, probably obviates abuses, since the users know that all of their modifications are totally transparent to the application administrator. Finally, another feature that we've seen, perhaps most important, is the agility of data entry. Because if it's not simple to introduce information, nobody's going to do it. I've got a document, for example a zip file or a Word document, and I want to introduce the information. It's as simple as that. Here I've got the folder of scanned documents. When I scan the paper documents, they pass to this folder totally automatically. I've only got to drag and drop the document straight into the database. There it is. If I have to drag various documents, there's no problem. I just drag and drop more documents. Everything I put into the system passes directly into the database. In this case, the system detects that there's a name repeated. Here we see in detail all the documents I've introduced. I can even drag and drop folders and subfolders. When I do that, everything enters at the same time. So nobody can discredit the application by saying that elementing the database is a bottleneck because it's as simple as copying to a pen drive or between folders. Not only that, but you can also extract documents out of the system just dragging and dropping them with the mouse. There, when the plus sign appears, or send an email with one or all of the documents just by marking it, all of this with absolute ease and in any language you need. So, now you've seen Archiva Tech, our document management program. If you have any questions about its functioning or availability, or you'd like to know anything else, please contact Fernando Moreno Torres personally.